Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it is November here it's a beautiful day I am so excited about the new month but before we can get into the new month I need to share with you the little bit of footage I took in the last week of October I have been trying really hard to get back into the swing of vlogging and pick up the camera more regularly, share little bits and pieces of my day and of my life in an attempt to, you know, be practiced for when Vlogmas rolls around next month. It's officially next month now that it's November. Um, I am going to be vlogging every single day in December from the 1st up until Christmas. I do this every year here on my channel and so um, I'm really excited about it but I'm definitely out of practice with the whole vlogging thing. So I've been trying to get better about vlogging more often to practice. I didn't do a super great job of picking up the camera last week. But I did share a few things, lots of tea related content. I've been so into tea lately, I always am this time of year. So in this vlog you're going to see kind of the tea that I had um, on a particular day. I don't even remember what day it was. I wasn't great about organizing my footage kind of as I was taking it. So um, you're going to see me my cup of tea for the day. And then I showed you a little bit about what's on my cell phone. I don't know if that's interesting, interesting to anyone, but I had just sort of spent some time reorganizing it and that sort of thing. So I showed you that. Um, some other little bits and bobs from a day and then I showed you guys my tea subscriptions. So my Sip Spy box came in, my November Sip Spy box. Um, that was delivered, so I shared what was in that, as well as my David's Tea Holiday Tea Tasting Club box. So, I know that tea talk is not everyone's cup of tea, but, um, I don't know, I've just been really into it. I like sharing that sort of thing with you, so hopefully you will enjoy this video and, uh, let me, you know, get my practice in for Vlogmas. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you do because there's lots of content coming up for the last couple of months of the year. And without further ado, let's get into this vlog. Good morning, friends. So, I was going to try out this pumpkin earl gray this morning, but uh, I decided just to keep it simple. I'm going to have some of this a little bit later on today, but for now I'm just going to have a cup of Irish breakfast. All I have left in this little sampler box is Irish breakfast so I need to pick up another one I love this little sampler it's just tea bags um, English breakfast Earl Grey Lady Grey and Irish breakfast Irish breakfast is probably my least favorite but it's still a breakfast tea I'm not gonna have coffee this morning I've decided already working on my water so let's get this day started Okay, so I used a little bit more water with this tea bag than I typically would. That way it's a little bit less strong. Irish breakfast tends to be really, really strong. And I don't want to have to add milk or anything to it. So just a little bit more water than usual. And I'll have my caffeine kick for the day. So I wanted to show you guys, I totally revamped my home screen on my phone last night when I couldn't sleep. Um, just to kind of make it more organized and more aesthetically pleasing and I just love the way it looks so I have all of my apps up at the top um, kind of categorized I have my shopping social media personal and then finance so under shopping I have things like um, Stitch Fix and Walmart and those kind of apps that I use on a regular basis actually Kohl's I don't really use on a regular basis but it fit there so you know I threw it in there and then for social media, I've got all of the stuff I use to track my stats for my little small business here. 
YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, my Outlook, that's for my email. Um, I just put Chrome in there because I didn't really know where else to put it. Um, Reddit and then this little app that we use to keep in contact for Austin's soccer team. Under personal, I've got my little period tracking calendar. I've got Life360, DoorDash, um, the app that I use to track my fasting when I am living that life. Um, I've got Power School there. That's stuff for my kids' school. Um, Planet Fitness, First View is also stuff for my kids' school. And then I have my Fitness Pal. There's probably a few other things I could add in here, but like I said, I just did this last night. So as I'm discovering that one of my apps that I use on a regular basis is missing, I'll add it. And then for finance, I've got all of my um, apps to keep track of my credit cards and whatnot. I've got my bank app, Credit Karma, the little calculator, that sort of thing. Oh, and every dollar, which I've been using again recently just to kind of um, keep track of things digitally and help me with <laughs> math since the mental math game is not too strong on this girl. So, all right. Sorry about that. So, um, yeah, that is what that looks like. And then I've got a couple of photos. I just used a little photo widget to be able to put those on there and um, they kind of switch every minute or two to something different. You can also switch them manually. So I've got photos of my family here. Um, oh, there's a couple back to back of Austin. Oh, and me and Darren Chris, cause that's important. Um, um, and then I have my little step counter there. It's connected with Samsung Health and my um, Samsung Galaxy watch. So uh, that just will track my steps. I've got a little countdown here. This will change right now. I'm counting down to my birthday, but once my birthday's over, we'll count down to Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatnot. Just thought that was fun. And then down here, I have a little quote widget. Um, they're just like motivational quotes. And these um, you can change as well. So right now it says success is reserved for the one who is ready to pay the price for it. And that's an anonymous quote. But if you tap it, it gives you something different. And I can put all of the um, widgets and things that I've used here in the description box if you're interested in. I've never really customized my phone like this before. Um, most of the time I just will like rearrange the apps. I just have the one home page. I don't like to have four or five different pages of stuff to scroll through. But I don't know. I was feeling uninspired and wanted some motivation and things. So... I went ahead and added these widgets and I'm loving the way that it looks. Oh, and then down here, there's just like, you know, the most used stuff. My phone to make phone calls or whatever. Um, the Google Play Store, my instant uh, text messages, not instant messages, um, and then my camera. So that's that. I also changed the theme on my phone a little bit. Um, I was looking for something more autumnal, but I don't know. I just... Uh, couldn't find anything I liked that was free. I didn't want to pay for it. So yeah, that is my phone and I am loving it. I also, while I was sitting here uh, drinking my tea, was filling in all of my transactions for my expenses for um, yesterday. And also I discovered that I totally forgot to track one of my food transactions for last week. So Luckily, I caught it, and I just threw it in with this week. That way, um, all of my numbers match, but I couldn't figure out why uh, my numbers weren't matching up. Well, that would be why I totally lost a transaction somewhere in the shuffle of moving things around. So, um, you can see I've been doing some Christmas shopping, just a little bit, uh, mostly on Amazon. And I bought myself some Christmas gifts from David's Tea because I'm just obsessed. Um, got some bills paid, so yeah, all in all. Everything's looking good. I got some tea mail. Pretty exciting. So I am now getting two different tea subscriptions. And I apologize if this footage is shaky. I didn't put my tripod on my camera. So um, I'm just holding it in my hand. It's a little shaky. I apologize. So I'm now getting two tea subscriptions. As I mentioned, I'm getting a Sips Buy box every single month. So this is a monthly subscription. I think it's $16 a month. And then I'm getting the David's Tea subscription, which you guys know I talked about in a previous vlog. This is um, 
a quarterly subscription, I guess you would say. So it's seasonal. You get spring, fall, summer. I always skip over summer for some reason. Spring, summer, fall, and holiday. So this is my holiday David's tea box. The Sip Spy box. Let me just turn this around so I'm not accidentally showing you guys my address. Um, the Sip Spy box, as I mentioned, um, is $16 a month. The David's Tea subscription is $35 four times a year. So um, they'll charge you right before they send you the box. And the David's Tea subscription is changing a little bit. They now have, I think, four or five different types of boxes you can choose from. They're still $35 a month, but you no longer now get, um, starting in 2022 with the spring box, you will no longer get like a little tea wear goodie. It's just tea. So still $35 a month, but it's just tea now. Whereas this past year, um, that $35 gets you tea as well as some sort of tea wear, whether it be a a steeper or a cup or whatever so the value is going down a little bit I think um, I think you're still gonna get the same amount of tea as you get in the boxes currently and you're still paying the same price but you're not getting the extra goodies so I don't know if it's really worth it um I think it's still worth it but it's not as good of a value as it has been which is kind of a bummer I was sad to see the change happen but they're kind of moving away from sending giant boxes and moving more towards um, sending like mailers. So let me show you what's in the holiday box because this is definitely a phenomenal box. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, so it came with the goodie. The, this is like the little tea wear extra, which is the very last one, I guess, that we're going to get in this subscription. So I will open this up momentarily, but I want to show you guys the tea because, I mean, the tea is definitely the best part for me. I love trying different teas. Um, I think it's really worth the value. Um, but, you know, a little extra is so much fun too. So first one here is the Silver Bell Oolong. This is a 15 gram package of tea. Um, it's pretty fancy. You know, oolong is, tends to be a little bit more expensive. Um, this is creamy, floral, and zen. So I'm really excited about trying this. I love oolong teas. I think they steep up so beautiful. Like when the um, leaves all unfurl. It's just a gorgeous experience. So I'm excited about that one. The next one here is Nordic Berry. This is a 25 gram bag of tea. It's a fruit infusion and it says it's vibrant, fruity, and calming. Next, we have caramel shortbread or caramel shortbread, however you say that. Um, this says it's buttery almond cookie and it's a fruit infusion as well. This one's also 25 grams. I just love the colors of these. Next up is chocolate chili chai. This is one that was in the advent calendar last year and it's one of my favorites. I really enjoyed it. Robbie really likes this one as well. It says fiery hot chocolate is the flavor and it's a black tea. Next up is Elf Help and it is fruity, sweet, and coconutty. And it's a green tea, again, 25 grams. Love that red packaging, so beautiful. Um, this is Merry Mistletoe. This is another one that was in the advent calendar last year and I absolutely loved it. So delicious, so I'm excited to see that in here. That's 25 grams as well. It says tart cranberry and spice, and it's a white tea. I love white tea. And it looks like the last one in here, so seven pouches of tea this time. Um, this, whew, excuse me. It is Organic Mother's Little Helper, which I have tried. It's not my favorite. Um, it's kind of like a sleepy time tea, but I like some of my other sleepy time teas better. But this calls, this says it's minty, citrusy, and relaxing, and it's an herbal infusion to Zane. So those are all of the teas, and then there's two little samplers in here. So this is North African Mint. It's a tea bag. This is one of my favorites. And then also hazelnut chocolate, which I've never tried and I'm pretty excited about. 
So that was all the tea. Like I said, I think it's a great value. I'm really excited about it. Um, can't wait to try out those teas. Let me open this up and show you what this is because this is so cute. Okay, so the little extra in here is this adorable bubble glass and it's got like the confetti glitter in it. This is, what does it say about it? It's a holiday confetti bubble glass cup. I believe it's five ounces it holds in it. And I don't know how well you can see, but it says on there, Tea Tasting Club, which is the name of their club. And then it says it in French as well on the back, if you're not familiar. Um, David's Tea is a Canadian um, tea company. So it does the French as well as the English. And it's just got all that gorgeous holiday themed glitter in there. And this is like the perfect little extra to end the year off. Um, like I said, really sad to see the little extras go, but I'm definitely going to be keeping my tea subscription into 2022 because I love David's tea. So that is the holiday box from David's Tea. I'm really, really happy with it. Cannot wait to try out all of these teas. Be on the lookout for um, tea tasting and things in vlogs in the coming months, November and obviously into December with Vlogmas. Now let's go ahead and open up my Sips Buy box. So Sips Buy is also a tea subscription. It's monthly, as I mentioned, I believe it's $16 a month and you get about 15 or 16 cups of teas worth of tea samples in here. It's four different varieties of tea. You can take a little tea quiz and decide whether you want, um, bags of tea or if you would prefer loose leaf tea or a combination um, and then you also they also get a feel for what kind of teas you like so if you like um, you know black teas or white teas or if you like um, different flavors like maybe you don't like ginger or maybe you don't like smoky flavored teas that sort of thing so they really get a feel for what you like and then they send you four different types of sea tea to sample. So this is my November Sips by box. I'm so excited about it. And comes with a little card here that tells you all about your teas for the month. It says your name on it right there. Um, obviously mine says made for Jesse. Four different types of tea. Tells me all about the tea, the caffeine level. Um, how to steep it, that sort of thing. It says, Happy November, Jesse. This beautiful month pulls up further into those cozy fall vibes. There couldn't be a better time to curl up with a blanket and a warm cuppa, and we hope you love your teas this month. Share a pic of your sips by box with us to enter to win a free month. And it gives you like the, the hashtags and whatnot to use on social media. And it looks like I've got some really great fall flavors coming in. So I'm going to set this off to the side and just take a look at the tea itself. So this first one is by Davidson's Organics. It is obviously loose leaf tea, which I love. And it is organic cinnamon apple. The ingredients are black tea, cinnamon, dried apples, natural flavors, and what does that say? Safflower. So this is 10 grams of tea. It does contain caffeine. Um, it's got all of your steeping instructions there. And the other cool thing about Sips Buy is if I try this tea and I love it and I decide I wanna buy more on their website, they offer um, discounts and coupon codes and stuff to use. So really excited about that. I love a good cinnamon flavored tea. Next up I have by Shea Lulu. Um, Eclair à la Vanille. So that's definitely not English, um, but I'm sure I butchered it. But it's green tea, vanilla flavor, tea, flowers, sunflower petals, and it's low caffeine. So this is another loose leaf tea, which I'm excited about. Again, I selected to have a variety of teas, both loose and bags. Um, and it does look like I got a combination. So this is a loose leaf tea as well. I'm pretty excited to try that. Um, seems like a pretty innocuous flavor. I think it's gonna be really delicious. Then from Ticino, this is a roasted herbal tea and it's in French vanilla. So again, 
with the vanilla flavors. I think that's awesome. This is acid-free, caffeine-free, and it's prebiotic, which is nice. Um, so I've never heard of Tea Chino, I don't think. So I'm excited to give this a try. The main thing I'm excited about with the Sips by Box is just being able to try out new teas, um, different flavors, different companies. So there's one, two, looks like three of the Tea Chino tea bags. Oops. Oh, no, look, there's a fourth one in there. So four tea bags. And then there's this Bear Leaves Tea, which is also a loose leaf tea. And this is Organic Nilgiri Black Tea. Bright and fragrant tea comes from the South Indian Mountain regions of Nilgiri, which translates to Blue Mountains. And it's just pure black tea. So yeah, really excited about those. The last thing in the box is this little um, reusable muslin cloth tea bag. Um, which you can use over and over again to steep your tea if you're into reusable tea bags. And then inside of the reusable tea bag, there's also some disposable tea bags. So even if you don't have a method of trying out loose leaf tea, but you're interested in trying it, you can still get the Sips by Box, request the loose leaf tea because they send you these really nice um, disposable tea bags that you can just put your loose leaf tea in and then cinch it up and use that to steep your tea. So that is it for my boxes. I'm really excited about my tea subscription this month with Sips By and I'll be getting these boxes every single month. I will leave a link down below to Sips By as well as um, David's Tea if you are interested in checking out the different tea subscriptions. Um, you guys know by now, I absolutely love tea. Um, it's like my favorite thing in the fall and winter time. I drink it more than coffee in the fall and winter time. So I'm uh, really excited to add even more teas to my collection. All right, friends. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little day in the life, couple of days in the life. I don't know what I'm going to title this. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed sharing it with you. Be on the lookout for more vlogs coming up throughout November. And be on the lookout for Vlogmas starting in December. I'm so excited for that. I cannot wait. So yeah, if that's your favorite kind of content, you definitely are in the right place. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Bye!